Hey guys, I'm Eric, and welcome back to State of Build. Today's going to be a little bit different of a video. A lot of you have been asking me to do a video on how to set up a profile board, and that is exactly what I'm going to show you. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So you have your profile board. Whether you bought it standalone for a build or it came installed already inside your saver, what now? What we're going to do is learn how to set up a profi board to install a new config and then we're just going to get started with the basics. First things first, you need to plug your profi board into a PC with a good USB cable. That means one with data lines installed in the cable so it's not just a charger cable. If your profi board is already installed into a hilt, it does not matter if you have the battery hooked up to it or not, and it does not matter if you have the SD card plugged into it or not. You just need to plug it in. So once we're connected on your PC, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Device Manager, and we're going to be looking under Universal Serial Bus Controllers, we're going to be looking for an STM32 bootloader device. Now in this case, I don't see that, so what we're going to have to do is press the boot button on the profi board while pressing the reset button at the same time and what we should see is stm load up down here now if you don't see that you're going to want to try a different usb port on your computer and a different usb cable the um, buttons they force the microprocessor into bootloader mode so that way you can always program it so next we're going to go into device properties and we're going to check and see which driver is installed. Now the driver version is going to be shown here. This is the driver version that we want. You may have something else listed here and if you do then we're going to have to go on to another step to change this driver version. Whether you have this or not it's still a good idea to reinstall the driver just to make sure that you know it's correct. We're going to use a program called Zadig. The link to download that is in the description below. When you get into Zadig, you're going to open it up and under options, list all devices. Under this drop down, you should see STM bootloader. It's going to tell you here the current driver, and then here you can select the driver that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to be selecting the same one and reinstalling it, but you want this driver version. We're going to hit reinstall driver. So when the driver's done, you'll see this message and we can go ahead and close out of that. So now we should see that the device is connected and the driver is the correct version. So now we can go ahead and move on to software downloading. So the software that we're going to use to install uh, our configs and our operating system to the Profi is Arduino's IDE. The link to download this is down in the description. So there's a little bit of setup we're going to have to do to get this functioning correctly. Um, we're going to have to install a ProfiBoard plugin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File Preferences. And then down here at the bottom, Additional Board Manager. We're going to have to add this link to Additional Board Manager URLs. If you already have something here, you can go ahead and click this box and add it as another line. Okay, this link that you need to add is down in the description. Once that's done, we can go into tools, we can go to board, boards manager. And if you search for profi board, this should pop up. So we're just gonna go ahead and click install on that. And then we can close that out. So now if you go to tools, board, all the way down at the bottom, you'll see Profi Board and Profi Board V2. So what we're going to have to do next is install the operating system and pull that up on here. So in the link down in the description, it will take you to this web page, Profi OS web page. If we scroll down, we will find this huge download link. This is the latest version of the Profi OS. We can go ahead and click that and it should start installing. While we're here, we're going to install one more thing. The Profi OS TNC Saber default SD card files. We're going to download that as well. So once you have both of those downloaded, what we're going to do is extract them. And go ahead and open the Profi OS, the version. And once we have that open, 
if you scroll down, you'll see ProfiOS is a .ino file. That's what we're going to open. Okay. So once you're in here, there's nothing in here that you should ever need to change except for this first line. Define config file, and then this is the location of the config file. This is repeated a couple times, uh, but it's commented out, so I'm just going to delete that to make it easier to see. This config file is where all the blade styles, all the font definitions, tracks, musics are located. It is the definition for how your profi board is set up. So what we're going to have to do is create this for your setup with all the characteristics that you have and then load that onto here. So Frederick has already created a wonderful tool on his website. The link is going to also be down in the description. This website here, we have a config that auto populates based on the characteristics that you put here up here in this configurator. So that's what we're going to do. So for the configuration that I'm going to build, it is going to be a NeoPixel for the main blade. You can add extra blades if you have a cross or other types of cross guards or crystal chambers if you want to add that. The number of LEDs in your blade, this can always be changed later. 144 is a pretty good default if you don't know at the moment how many buttons you have. So I'm going to be running two buttons, but if you want to run three, you see that the configurator automatically reloads and then down here it also changes to add an extra button. So we're just going to leave it two and I'm going to leave all of these unchecked because I don't have them. A kill switch is something that is pretty common though if you want to add that go ahead and click that. So now that we have this configured correctly for how I'm going to have my setup I can go down here and I can copy and paste all of this and this is going to be the default config for this setup. So we're going to go back into the ProfiOS folder and under the config folder, this is where all the configurations are located. What we're going to do is we're just going to copy and paste a random one, remember which one it is, and we're going to rename this to my config. This is going to be the config for your setup. So we're going to open that. You can open this with any text editor. I'm just going to use Notepad because everyone should already have that installed. On the website, we're going to copy the config that we just created. We're going to remove everything here and paste this in. I'm not going to go too in depth in what we have here in this config. This is a topic for a whole nother video, but the basics is this is your definition for your number of blades, your number of buttons, the volume, your clash threshold. Some of this stuff can be changed right off the bat. Clash threshold, usually about a three is a good clash threshold. Volume, depending how big your speaker is, 1500 for a 28 millimeter speaker is a good number. Um, and then if we scroll down here, we'll see all of our presets. Each one of these, each one of these brackets is a separate preset. So on here we have about 13 presets. You'll see here that they each have the same format. This first uh, parentheses, this is the folder on your SD card where the sound fonts are stored. This right here is the f directory for your music track. This right here is the format for your blade style. So this one is a, I believe it's a blue blade with a white clash. And then here is an identifier for if you had serial data coming out or an LCD, it would come up with the word cyan. So all this stuff you can change and configure, and I'll create another video on that later. This is it's kind of a little bit more in depth than what we're showing here. Down here we have the definition for our blades, how many pins, um, everything about that, and then we have the buttons configured. So I have two buttons, a power button and an aux button. So now we're going to go back into the Arduino software and we're going to have to change this configuration directory to the one that we just created. So ours was located in config and instead of it having this name .h it had myconfig.h and we can double check that real quick by checking in here. So ProvOS config myconfig perfect. So now we're ready to actually upload this to the profi board. So we're going to head up into tools and under board, I've already selected it, but you're going to select profi board V1 or V2, depending on which board you actually have. It does make a difference. Um, you can leave all of the rest of these settings the same. We'll talk about these in another video. Smallest code. 
this is your optimization you want it to be running as fast as possible but the those um, presets take up a lot of space in some cases so this might be something you want to try to play with and then port I have nothing selected you may have this grayed out these two are separate devices that I have installed on my computer right now what is happening is that the STM bootloader isn't actually showing up as a port right now and that's okay it shouldn't show up we are going to leave this empty don't select anything and we're just going to go up here and hit upload so the first thing that's going to happen in this window down here is it's going to compile if you get any errors while it compiles then you want to go back in and check that your config is built correctly and you copied everything from the website over if you miss even one semicolon it won't work the first thing it's going to show you is the percentage of the program that you're using to have the storage space so this is where you can kind of play with that optimization I use smallest space and I'm only using 86% maybe I want to make it faster so that way everything runs a little bit quicker so it doesn't automatically scroll down you have to scroll down manually but you'll notice that it's downloading it'll give you a percentage complete and you're gonna have to continue to scroll if you want to watch that but when it hits the end it'll it'll tell you that it's finished so from here you can see that the downloads done downloaded successfully and if we go up here into tools and look at port we'll now see that we have a com12 profi board port so that's actually your profi board and now whenever you install a new config or you want to reload the board you can always just click this and not have to go through the whole bootloader setup that we did at the beginning and once you have that we have a cool tool here a serial monitor where we can actually monitor uh, messages coming from the profi board so you'll see here it'll list battery voltage I don't have a battery hooked up so this should be an arbitrary number failed to mount SD card I don't have an SD card installed and a whole bunch of other messages so the last thing we need to do is set up the SD card so I just plugged in my SD card here it is empty uh, we want to format this fat32 if you don't have it already formatted with that so we're going to head over to that download of the SD card that we did earlier. You're going to notice there's a whole bunch of tracks here. In these folders we have all the font files and then in tracks here we have all the music files. So we're going to copy this over to our SD card. One thing you'll notice is that these title names match the config names. So TNCSF, that's going to be playing this track. So the first, state, the first light that comes up is going to be uh, cyan color. It's going to be playing off of these tracks or these fonts and then this is going to be the track that plays and that's all located here in the SD card. So this is what you'd want to change if you were trying to update. You change these and you change these. So once that's done copying over we can pull it out, plug it into our profi board and test it. I'm going to be using this test rig that I built. It's built just to simulate a normal Sabre Hill. It's got your battery, your speaker, your LEDs, everything like normal. You would be testing it out in your hill either after you build it or if it's pre-built, just go ahead and turn it on. So I'm going to plug it in, connect the battery. You should see it light up. So there was that first preset that we saw, that cyan blue. We're playing the TNC font. You can hear Smooth Sing working. Everything seems to be functioning correctly. And guys, that's it. That's how you set up a Profi board. Like I said before, I plan to do a more advanced video on how to edit the config, how to add your own fonts, your own blades, changing everything that we saw in there. But until then, if you like this video, leave a like and consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.